Hey guys, Gamer of Gamers in the Zone, and welcome to another episode of Toho 12 Unidentified Fantastic Object. Like always, before we begin today's episode, we have once again some more wonderful informal comments from our good old pals Freezing Time and Lightning283. So Freezing Time says, Hi again, Gamer of Gamers. It was a good run. I'm pretty sure you already started to notice that this game really is easier than Toho 11. Just look at yourself. You made it to the fifth boss without continues, and it's after losing three to four lives to Marasa, where most of them wasn't necessary at all. And all of this on your third try. Okay, so let me tell you a secret about fighting fourth stage mid-boss. Uh, if you beat it without dying or using bombs, uh, you, it will give you a full life instead of a bomb. Pretty neat, right? Though it's not easy to dodge fourth wave of bullets, but you will do this eventually, I hope so at least. Okay, fourth stage mid-boss. I'll try to keep that in mind as I go here. Um... Okay, so I didn't tell to be where the lasers are in Nazrin's mid-boss. I was talking about Shao's fifth boss, uh, second spell card, but I guess uh, you can use it on Nazrin as well if you say it works. Okay, so, hmm. You need to be in right bottom section in her third spell card, and when they get fast in small space, you need it to... I'm guessing you were you meant to say move there, not mive. Uh, without focus. Otherwise, you just die like it happens in video. If you want, I guess I can send you a GIF from my replay on how you should do it on your Discord. Uh, so let's start with Biakran's story, shall we? About 1,200 years ago, Biakran was still a, a human Buddhist nun. She wasn't alone. She had her younger brother, Mioran Hijiri, who was a monk too. When her brother suddenly died, and because of it, she started to fear death. Her fear was so strong that she started trying to maintain her life as long as... It it's an N, not an M for in the word long, uh, as she could. And in the end, she indeed found the way, but not through her religion, but rather through black magic. We'll stop here for today's episode. Lots of uh, Toho characters that really seem to enjoy it seeking immortality, it seems. Uh, why not end the Byakuren story? Well, firstly, it's long as heck. Secondly, it contains story for every other character, so I'll tell it in small chapters. So, unless you finish this game faster uh, than in 7-8 episodes after this, I'll tell you the whole story. Though, if you somehow manage to do it, I guess I'll just tell uh, two chapters at a time. So, that's all. Take care. Thank you very much for your informal common freezing time. Unfortunately, we're not done yet. Lightning283 also has a very nice informal comment that he has given to us today. Sorry for being late, Gamer of Gamers. I'm busy. That That's fine, Lightning283. Um, take your time with these. No, no hurry to watch these videos or anything. Take all the time you need. Okay, look like Freezing Time start Biakran lore, but only one-fourth of her lore. So I need to start half of Marasa lore. Uh, Minamitsu Marasa, uh, she are a ship phantom. She has power to causing shipwrecks. She was the soul of a human who died in a shipwreck in the sea. A long time ago, she could not leave the sea because of her mourning. Uh, she living it each day by sinking all the ships that pass by. She is being, being afraid by humans. The fear of human beings transformed her into yokai and she's gradually being limited in her actions. Human were known, uh, HWR, what does HWR mean? Uh, as, uh, Marasa. Until one day her life reached a turning point with the visit of a priest who had been 
worshipped asked to defeat Marasa. She herself had prayed for it to be like this as well, because whether she sank the human ship, usually sat a few more. It doesn't make power uh, as yokai terrifying. It increased even more, and as she inquired, heard that she was a famous priest. If the ship that the priest sat on was sunk by her, her status of yokai would definitely rise. If successful, um, may be able to be independent of the curse that binds me and go to harm humans as she likes. She thinks so. So that is half of her lore. I will tell you the second half when you beat Biakran or Freezing Time. Say something about Biakran lore. Okay, see you next time, Gamer of Gamers. Alright then. So, with that in mind, thank you everyone for your informal comments. Now, let's go ahead and start today's episode. So, we managed to make it to the final boss's Reimu, so I think I'm going to be done playing as her for a while so we can explore some of the other shot types. Starting with, of course, our good old pal, Marisa Kirisame. Uh, so we've got, uh, once again, two different shot types. Sh shot types. The iconic, of course, Master Spark 1. Uh, treasure ship's gotta have treasure. Whatever it is, I'm very interested in it. Okay, both of them's kind of just exploring for the sake of exploring, unlike Reimu, who is kind of balanced in potentially yokai or just going for treasure. So, of course, we gotta start with the iconic Master Spark 1 and seeing if this ship has some treasure. I mean, it's not Marisa if you don't have the iconic Master Spark. Okay, we want to start. So I remember... I didn't get any formal comments on if I was doing well with how I was balancing uh, going for extra lives and bombs. So I'm kind of going to be on my own for a bit to figure out for myself what the best way to do this is. Okay, let's grab this. And by doing that, we can... No, I don't want a blue one. Even though... Did I get it? I can't tell if I got it or not, but let's go for an extra life this time. Alright, get ready. And... Now! Alright, hurry up and take her down. So yeah, I'm going to try having a balance between extra lives and like a bit of a back and forth in a sense, is what I'm going to try to do. Okay, take it down. Okay, going for bombs this time. Bombs? Bombs! Got a bit crazy. Ah, I forgot to max out, and I picked up another green one, so I guess I'm going for bombs again. What the heck? Now I've learned the fact that I won't be able to catch a ship flying in the sky by just flying above the ground. Oh yeah, get some more uh, air time then. There was a response from over here. What? It's that human bef from before. Boring. A treasure reaction? Is there a treasure around here? Nope, that's not it. Looks like the response was coming from you. But humans have a rarity factor of zero, so I think I'm just gonna ignore you. I thought my body was relatively rare, though. Well, I'd better go find the next treasure, or I'll never hear the end of it from her. Are you looking for treasure? Does it have anything to do with that treasure ship? Treasure ship? That thing floating up in the sky? Maybe it looks like a treasure ship, but it's not now. Well, I don't have any business with humans, but too bad for you, but it looks like my little mice are really hungry. Alright. Let's go. Alright, come on. J just let me get to her now. Thank you. Yeah, I can tell Marisa. Marisa's always been the challenging one, because most of her shot types are always the shooting straightforward shot types combined with 
large hitbox and moving around fast. It makes it where I've always found Marisa to be the most difficult character to play as when it comes to Toho. I mean, I know some games it might have been a little bit different, but that's always been the formula when it comes to Marisa. So I know it'll probably be similar to Toho 8, and I'll probably be saving her for last. What was that mouse anyway? Don't tell me the treasure ship got infested with mice. Well, I guess I, I'll have to go and find out for myself. Alright, there we go, gaining some more altitude. Okay, I don't want any blue ones. I want green, so I can finish maxing things out here. Alright, avoid the blue one. This would be a good spot for a uh, UFO to pick up some items if there was one on screen right now. Oh, okay, that's a color switching one, so I just gotta grab it. Then can pick up some power to max itself out. Was that enough? No, that is not enough. Um, I don't want it. To... Okay, there we go. Can I? Thank you. All right, now let's see where are we now. All right, wait for that to turn red. Turn red. Oh, of course, it stopped changing colors when I got close to it, and then went back to changing colors when I got away from it. That is kind of stupid. Okay, I gotta maintain my distance now and forget about picking up UFOs. Because I need to pay attention. Come on, just give me a chance to pick something up, please. I'm still not close enough. I And the, the, the bullets are too dangerous. Ah... Uh. Alright, just gotta wait for it to turn red. Come on! Alright, we got it. Bit of a risky move there, but I what matters is that I got it. Ha! Did I get it? I, I can't tell. Well, what matters is that I got an extra life piece. That's, in my eyes, all that matters here. Uh, what should I go for next? I don't know. Right now, I need to focus on avoiding bullets. So, for now, okay, we're going for extra lives again. <coughs> Although, we got the next boss here. We got the talking umbrella! <laughs> I'm still not going to get over the fact that it's a talking umbrella. That, that's... I feel like even when we get to the end of this Let's Play, I'm still not going to be getting over the fact that it's a talking umbrella. So wait, why uh, are you so just going to hurry right on? Well, I guess I'll leave you now then. Wait, you're just going to leave? That's pretty suspicious. Well, I won't leave then. I've got lots of time. What's with you? Are you a patrol from that ship? Ship? That's got nothing to do with me. Right. Got nothing to do with you at all. I'm just a cheerful yokai who lives to surprise people. So be surprised. Yeah, right. Oh. Uh... Yeah, you think an umbrella, a talking umbrella, is capable of surprising people. If you're not related to that shit, okay, don't be surprised if I do this. Alright, let's go. Gotta say, the bullets that Maurice is firing right now, out of all the different versions of the Master Spark Shot type, it pro this one probably looks the best. It just looks really cool, in my opinion. Just a little comment I wanted to point out there while I'm in the middle of all of this! Thought I was doing well there, but I guess not. Alright, this is the one where... I can never remember, is this the one that's in some way directly targeting me, or... Well, whatever the case, just focus on avoiding the bullets and not get hit. I feel like in some way they are kind of directly targeting... I was a safe distance from that. How did I get hit there? Oh, great. Once again, I am losing to an umbrella. Alright, come on now. Get this out of the way. 
Yeah, I, I... That's Marisa hitbox... A Marisa hitbox moment for you, folks. That is a Marisa hitbox moment. Okay, not at all. All the other yokai in town like you... Uh, are like you. Not a single one is interesting at all. My reason to live is a yokai. Might be surprised if you could protect me from the rain with that umbrella you got there. Oh, so you're saying to go back to square one? Maybe that's not a bad idea. Well, I caught up to the ship if I was chasing, so see ya. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, an umbrella's still an umbrella, regardless of design. I mean, at least the eggplant design makes it a little bit more interesting than, you know, being your generic umbrella design. Okay, how am I supposed to reach that if this keeps happening? Alright, is that enough to get... No, that is not enough for full power... I'm... I can never tell if I got it high enough to get it to... For the in initial... I did not want blue, but I guess I'm going for blue. Of course, I get a green. Alright, maybe I can... Okay, yeah, switch things up a bit here to switch it to green. Yeah, there we go. So now I just need one more green one, then I can get my hands on another bomb. As soon as I deal with this yokai, though. Humans, fairies, and all, everyone seems to be after this ship. Are they after the treasure room? A treasury? I like the sound of that. Well, no point in arguing. I'll show no mercy to any enemy. Alright. Of course, we got the massive fists, like always with this boss. The overwhelming fists. Okay, I may have to be a little bit more considering about the idea of just bombing, considering the fact that... Oh, is it, uh... I didn't see that there, unfortunately. Uh, another Marisa moment. Oh, to think that there are still humans that wouldn't run away after seeing this fist. So I guess uh, this is a story where I'll get the treasure if I finish you off. She ran away. Okay, we want green. A green UFO. Come on, turn... Oh, of course. Okay, that's interesting to know. So they... Don't change color whenever I get close to them. That is very interesting. But that also means that uh, it's going to take a bit for me to get the right combinations going here. I could really use some extra lives right now. And I can't get close to the red UFOs when they're red. Alright, turn red please. Thank you. And then go down. Allowing me to get some more extra lives. Okay, get ready. This one's gonna turn. Uh, this one's gonna turn red. Actually, I that's too far away and too dangerous for me to pick up. Okay, and then it left the screen. Of course. Just what are you after? Treasure or perhaps our sister's power? Your sister, you say? But more importantly, the treasure. Yeah. I knew it, you're just a common thief. I'm a Chirin, and I'm taking our sister's place guarding the treasure. I won't let any thieves in alive. Haha, <laughs> a thief? Just who do you think I am? Uh, you are absolutely a thief, Marisa. I'm just gonna say that now. You're the kind of character that has the word thief written all over you. I'm no simple thief. I'm a normal midget. You're basically admitting right there that you're a thief. So? Well, uh, so please, don't worry about me, okay? Uh, you mean, the girl in black has... Well, what's wrong? Why are you talking to yourself? Onzan tells me you're gathering the fragments of the, fragments of the floating treasure. Fragments of the secret treasure? I didn't get the time to read that. I accidentally pressed a button by mistake. I see the mice in search, uh, to search. I see asking the mice to search wasn't any use. Thank you for finding them. Now I can finally revive our sister. All right, here we go. The only good thing I can say about Marisa is that if you can, you know, do good in getting underneath the boss and stuff, she is able to take out bosses rather quickly. All right, where are these fists coming from? Okay. 
Just stick to the bottom of the screen, though these narrow passageways provided here is making me very much considering if it might be a good idea to just bomb it. Aha! Take that. Alright, we got that out of the way. Look, oh. okay, watch where you're watch where you're going, Marisa. Gonna be running out of lives on the third stage. Didn't even take... Unleash the full extent of my bombs. Okay. Oh, awesome. I can't believe there are humans in this world, too. I wouldn't lose lose to a guy like you. Okay, so I gotta pay attention here. Did you say it was fourth stage or... Okay, so fourth stage mid-boss coming up here. If I can get through it, I can get a free extra life, so let's see if I can do it. Aries, very well. Uh, you seem to be an ally, so what? Uh, are these flying things actually worth something? I mean, if someone were to discover alien technology, I'm sure everyone would be all over it. Dead, dead. Out of... What a great start to this stage. We're off to a great start. Alright, I'll, I'll take the green one. I'll, I said I'd take the green one. Oh, I got a multicolored one. Course. All right. Why don't I? Well, what a great run! All right. I I I know it's Marisa, and Marisa's always known to be the annoying character to play as in these games. But I at least want to see if I can successfully navigate to the end of one of these in one piece. So I would like to at least make it to the final boss before I call it an episode. Alright, what are we doing dealing with here? Green. Once again, I can't tell if I got it or not. And I accidentally picked up a blue one, so I guess we're going for blue. Okay. So you're saying that if I can successfully dodge this, that I can supposedly gain a little bonus. So I'm going to try and do my best to pay attention here. And Okay, nope, I couldn't do it. Okay, got a bomb. Unfortunately, I got hit, so I didn't get an extra life that time around. I felt like I was doing well, but again, probably another Marisa hitbox moment. That, that's the phrase I'm always going to use every time I play as Marisa from this point on, where is that whenever something bad happens, just, just assume it's a Marisa hitbox moment. That, that's, I think, a good way of representing how much I'm not really into playing as Marisa in these games, because... I know it's my thing to go for every ending as every character, but I'm sure you guys know how much I'm really not into playing as Marisa. The only time I felt fairly comfortable playing as Marisa was in Toho 11, since her shot types were actually, in my eyes, more useful than Reimu's. 
considering what, what, what Marisa could do compared to everyone else. All right, let me grab some bombs. Of course, I... All right, I need to focus now. So, if I can successfully dodge this, I can grab myself a free extra life. So I gotta keep this in mind going into this. Okay, so it's this third one that always gets the best of me somehow. Or something like that, right? Or was it uh, an even harder attack? Because, like, I think what I see is that there are bullets that come in right towards the bottom. So as long as I get out of the way of those bottom bullets, that's what's going to allow me to get through that and get the free extra life. And seeing how I just managed to do it. Yeah, I think I, I can work that into a... And of course I accidentally pick up a blue one when I could have gotten myself a free bomb if I had not messed that up so badly. Alright, fine, I'll go for the multicolored one. Seeing how it's the options being presented to me so I can... These guys always have to change color at the worst times. I'm busy trying to dodge stuff here and... They always change to the worst color at the worst time. Okay, turn red and then... Red. Now I can get myself an extra life, yay! Of course, there it goes. And, well, I think I get it. There's nothing on this ship, so I guess I'll have to take this flying treasure or whatever home and study it. Is someone there? A human? Or have you also given up your humanity? A yokai? What is this ship, anyway? Oh, it looks like you've got something nice. Hmm, so you're interested in this? Yes, as long as we have that, we can turn this ship uh, towards its destination. Destination? Oh, my aunt, where are my manners? I'm Murasa, the captain of this holy palanquin. This ship is bound for Hokai, the world where Hijiri is imprisoned. Did you say Hokai? The heck's that? Uh, the corner of the infinite area of Makai, where the Hijiri... That's where Hijiri was sealed away. Makai. Are you afraid now? No, I want to go to Makai as a magician. Magician? Hmm, aren't you human? Well, well anyways, mind taking me long? <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't bring powerless passengers with us. Now leave the treasure here and return back to Earth. I will gladly do that, because I am kind of reaching that point where I'm getting tired of playing as Marisa. Yeah, I do think if I reach the, uh, what I like to consider the minimum length for me to call it a full episode, and I still can't get past the stage, I do think I'm gonna call it an episode. Cause... yeah, that's how much I don't like playing as Marisa. And nothing's going to change that. Is that I will always never be a fan of play- Alright, not exactly at the minimum yet, so I'll go ahead and give it one more go. Just one, though. Nothing more, nothing less. Should I focus more towards extra lives or maybe more towards bombs? Because I'm putting in a bit more of an effort towards trying to go for, like, actually making it through some of these attacks. So why don't I go for extra lives? It's, I just remembered that some of these just straight up turn up green, so maybe it would have been better for me to go for bombs the first run around, then focus all out on extra lives. Again... I do think it would be a good idea to get some tips on, like, which stages would be best to go for which specific UFOs at which points in the stage, so I know the best opportunities I may have to focus all out on getting some extra lives. And I didn't even max that out. Okay, here we go. Alright, why don't I just pick that up when it's green so I at least have it picked up. I know what I said about going all out for extra lives, but I'm interested in going for this. Okay, so I think around like the fourth attack is when it sort of whips out some stupid stuff. So that's what I'm going to want to keep an eye out for here. It's here that some stupid stuff gets whipped out. I survive it, I get a free extra life. Just got to keep that in mind next time I do this. 
and it immediately gets wasted. Great. What a, what, what a great stage. And of course, I accidentally picked up a blue UFO again. There's just no end to it. Of course, it's an all-out red UFO. Not a multi-changing color UFO like all the majority of what I pick up. Why don't we go for red instead, if it's going to be like this to me? We just go for red and move on with... boss. Alright. If I can beat this boss, maybe I'll try to keep going for a bit longer, but if I die here, I'm calling it an episode. So I just noticed that I'm one power away from getting up the... Well, technically five, considering the fact that they've changed it to where... One item is only worth one power now. Kind of a stupid idea if you ask me, but... Considering how they, much they've changed it, I guess I'm not complaining much since... Uh, out of all the uh, games, this is probably... Uh, I don't like that attack. I think out of all the attacks, that, that one is probably my least favorite out of this entire game. No, I'm sure I'll probably come across worse, but in terms of attacks I've had to deal with, I, I'm just left, like, questioning what am I supposed to do there. See, at least that attack is relatively, you know, simple, easy to get around, but then that one with the anchor just, like, goes all out with everything, it's like, what am I supposed to do? Alright, we got the multi-anchors, now watch, this... I'm pretty sure this is going to be much easier to deal with, considering how I've been doing it. Because it doesn't leave those lingering other bullets I have to keep my minds on out in the open like it has been doing. I can just get out of the way of this and then I can immediately redirect my attention towards the next wave. Like that. Alright, I am in a position where I'm out of lives though, so I need to be careful here. Otherwise I'm going to die. Okay, I think I got an idea on a way that I can maneuver past this. I wait after the ring gets out of the way, and then I... Okay, no, I got it kind of cornered there. And I still got 18 seconds remaining to deal with all this. But I think I got an idea on a way that I can do this. Okay, first I... Okay, no, now she's going too fast. That is way too fast. Yeah, I, I see no way past this outside of just whipping out some bombs. Because I... Uh, yeah, she goes way too fast towards the end of that attack. Alright, seeing how I've made it this far, I guess I can keep going. Suppose I'll let you on board. Well, already on board. So, Makai, you said you were going to Hokai if you ride along. I'll get there, right? Yes, yeah, since you brought the treasure, we're already underway. Uh, the Miasma usually makes it impossible to get there, but lots of interesting things have fallen into Makai. I guess this time I'll just bear it and go collect lots of rare items. By the way, this ship is a one-way liner. We're not planning on leaving Makai, is that okay? Wait, hang on! Stop the boat! There's no knowing where we're going. Which direction we are rowing. Okay, come on, just turn red. Thank you. And now I can uh, allow this to gather up some power and see... Actually, what am I doing? 
I already am at only one life remaining, so I might as well just call it here. Not the episode, but call that run. So I can just reset back at two lives, two bombs. Eh, why not go for lives again? I'm in the mood. Once again, too many bullets on screen that I can't get any good openings. Okay, very nice. Sure, I'll take that so I can grab... Okay, maybe I should have gone for green since that one doesn't change color. I probably should have gone for green instead to get some bombs. Though, I, uh, I have already started this one, so I might as well commit at this point. Okay, what's happening here? No, oh, of course it switches directions last second. Okay, it's like, starts streaming, but then doesn't quite finish. Dude, did you have to do that? Right as I whipped that out. So he came to Makai too. It's that mouse from before. I knew I could smell treasure in Makai. So he already found my treasure. What? No fair. The barrier was holding me back. I couldn't get far into Makai. No, I wasn't looking for something from Makai. It's this jeweled uh, pagoda shining with the light of Buddha. Uh, perfect timing. I'll test this treasure out on you. So she found a different treasure entirely, is what she found. Okay, okay, that was close. Uh, very close calls here. So I'm like prioritizing the round bullets, but then those things, those forks come out when I, I'm least ready for them. Okay, so if I remember correctly, I'd have to go back and look at that comment again, but you said to go where the lasers are to... Yeah, it didn't work. Just gonna bomb my way past that. And then, once again, there's too much on screen that I can't focus on picking up the UFOs. At least I'm getting a ton of points with how much is showing up on screen. Okay, so do that. So I can get a... Okay, no, there... There's got to be a better way I can maneuver past that. Okay. So, two lives remaining at this part. Uh, can't go any farther down, can I? What's that? I don't understand this seal at all. I'll never be able to get any treasure or anything else at this rate. You're the human who gathered the flying treasure, yes? Now let us begin. How'd you know how I can get in here? Yes, I do. That's why I brought... You brought that, right? Those fragments of the flying storehouse. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. I am the representative of Vice Ravana, a devotee of Hajiri's creed. Now that we have the jeweled pagoda Nazrin brought, uh, might as well, as well as the fragments of the flying storehouse you possess, we can break the seal here. We can repay your debt of gratitude to Hajiri. Oh, uh -huh, so if you break the seal, then something will come out, right? You gathered all the treasure without even knowing that? Oh no, uh, I guess I just kind of forgot. Hmm, from the looks of it, I'd say you never knew. He... What would uh, do you hear may be the power of the treasure that Yajiri left. However, you may be against her revival. You may be just a simple enemy. No, no, I just want to go in down in here. Just a simple enemy. Still, even if you are an enemy, there's no denying that you were chosen by the treasure. However, if you've chosen to follow the wrong path, then I'll have you bowed down before this pagoda of Vice Ravana. Okay, this one... Let's see if I remember it well. Because, uh, because of work and stuff, it's been a little while since I've done some of these. 
So, let's see if I can refresh my memory on this. There we oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, memory a bit rusty at the moment. That, yeah, I might need to just bomb my way through this one. Because, yeah, this is a lot. A lot of... Uh, a bit too much, I'd say. So, yeah, I'm just gonna... Bye-bye. Okay, this attack's simple. So I should be able to get through this one just fine. Since this one's mostly just reaction-based... Ah. Nope. I'm gonna bomb this one as well. Of course, he mo she moves out of the way at the worst time. She keeps moving out of the way at the worst time. I okay, the attack's over. Alright, this one... Mostly just gotta pay attention to where they're coming from. And uh, This one's a fairly simple attack. See? I'm doing for Oh no, this attack. I remember this attack, and I remember how much I hated it. Like, you get up, you do fine, but then you get to this part where you just basically get backed into a corner, and it's like, what was I supposed to do there to not die? That's something that's always really bothered me with that particular attack. Alright, I'm down to my last bomb. I'm just gonna bomb my way through this and see if it's enough to survive. Come on, let me have the victory. Just let me have the victory, please. Okay, thank you. So your path isn't a wrong one. You're just sorry you lost. Now let us prepare to lift the seal. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But first, there's something I want to ask you. What happens when you lift this seal anyway? That's for Hijiri to worry about. It's none of our concern. Hmm, maybe I messed something up here. If things go south, I'll have no choice but to take control of the situation. Nonsense, Marisa. You have no power here. You've been nothing but a kind of a disappointment ever since we got to this point. Okay, nothing but green. Why is it nothing but green? Fine, I'll take it. But only because I'm a little bit disappointed right now. Come on, drop some items, please. Oh, right. I was uh, out of everything and was pretty much at the point where I was hanging off a thread. I forgot about that. Okay, pick these up. I can grab myself a free bomb. Alright, let's wait for stuff to come out before I go straight to... Uh, or just take it out before I can even get my hands on a free bomb. Sure. And now too much is coming at me that I can't pick anything up right now. And why does everything have to be blue right now? Alright, take that and just... Dude, those guys are moving around too much. I can't do anything here. Also, maybe I shouldn't have gone for another bomb. Who knows? I, I, I don't know. Right now, I'm just focusing on trying to survive. No, do not lead that blue UFO into me. Don't you dare lead the blue one into me. Yes. Come on, I wanted a green. Yes. No. Come on. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Another... Of course I get hit again. And that thing completely cornered me, so what was I supposed to do there? And we're at the final boss. Alright, let's go. Well, there's nothing here in this world. Well, I guess it's Maokai, that's for sure. Uh, there's magic power pouring, pouring out of everywhere here. Oh, the world of Niharma is filled with light. Are you the one who liberated this world? You, I've been looking for you. Who on earth are you? 
I'm Marisa, the magician. I was curious, so I came all the way down here. I see. You're a magician. Who are you? My name is Biakuren. I was a monk lo a long, long time ago. Well, perhaps it, it would be more accurate to say I was a magician? What? You're a magician? <laughs> okay, now you have my attention. <laughs> uh, you're in the business? Yes, I suppose you could say that. Is that why you wanted to save me? No, that wasn't what I had in mind, but... But that aside, has the world become a place where it's okay to use magic? In my time, because I could use strange powers, people hated me. And in the end, they sealed me away down here. Well, that... Wait, I thought they sealed you down here because you, uh... Sided with... Because you, um... Wanted peace and harmony to both humans and yokai because you did that to yokai that... Yeah. Yes, that's... A, I didn't get to read that last piece of dialogue. Yes, that's why I recognize yokai's equals and called on others to do the same. Will you support me in that? In today's world, I think it's okay to use magic, but yokai and humans aren't equal. Humans are weaker, so they need more protection. Saying yokai and humans are equal doesn't make it true, especially coming from a yokai like you. I see. I've already given up my humanity. I suppose that's pointless for a non-human like me to appeal for equality. That's right. Humans haven't changed since my days in the temple. How superficial, greedy, and unjust just you are. Now, in the name of the three treasures... Alright, let's get this over with. Just waiting for that special Marisa hitbox moment to occur at this point. Since I don't see myself getting very far. Da, 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 da. Yep, I knew it. Don't know why I didn't just bomb it there, but... Yep, alright, no. I'm calling it there. Because, uh... I, had, I made it as far as I wanted to get, and I'm at the point where... I'm not really in the mood to keep playing at the moment. So, with that being said... We made it through another episode. Can at least have it at that. We just have one more... Marisa shot type to play as, and we can check out the new character. Who is the new character again? I think, what was it, Sine? Yeah, Sine, the Moria Shrine Maiden. So that'll be interesting. Uh, until then, though, this is the Gamer of Gamers, and stay excellent, everyone. <laughs>